All right, this question says, when released some mess of a block? Let me just start labeling things. I keep track of what's been uh, given. Block slides down the pasture. Oh, it's an ugly path <laughs> reaching the bottom with some speed. OK. Um, how much work does the force of friction do? Oh, that's an odd question to ask. So because it's mentioning friction, I'm going to guess that um, that after block has uh, come down this to this point, that um, we are going to find the conservation of mechanical energy. Which reminds me, let me just double check. Are we in chapter eight already? Chapter seven. Um, let me just double check one thing to make sure I only use uh, context appropriate knowledge. In chapter 7, I thought we haven't introduced the conservation of energy yet. Um, so, we don't work in kinetic energy. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can use work done by gravitational force. If I can, then that's great. I'll use it. Um, if not, then um, I'll use it. Okay, okay, so let me just copy this over so that I am, <laughs> I know for sure that we can use it, sorry. Uh, it, that bit of a fastidiousness, it's a, um, so this is the equation, uh, oh, it's not numbers. Well, it's one of the expressions in your textbook, and I'm just uh, trying to separate out the um, content that we covered in Chapter 8 from the content we are covering in Chapter 7. Because technically speaking, things like a potential energy and conservation of energy, we haven't covered it yet, second half of this week. <laughs> so, But I have at least this much, uh, which is the expression for gravitational uh, work done by gravity. So I think I can use that with um, what we have covered in Chapter 7. So in terms of what we have covered in Chapter 7 is the work kinetic energy theorem. So work kinetic energy theorem says this, that net work done on an object gives you the change of kinetic energy. So for this block, there are a few things doing work, actually two things doing work on this block. So, um, so we'll spell them out, include that into part of network, and separate one portion of it as being work due to friction, and then uh, connect it to the change of kinetic energy we see and um, solve for the work done by friction. So. As this block rolls down, so it's good to have, a, even though we are not going to do force analysis, it's good to have an image of forces in mind. So there's going to be gravity acting on it. There's going to be normal force. And apparently from description, there's going to be some friction. So there's one, two, three forces. And it's a matter of work being done by uh, these each of the forces. So when we say, when we write down that work done, it's going to be work done by gravity plus work done by friction plus work done by normal force. Now, I don't want to say that normal force always does zero work, but in order for normal force to do work, this surface of contact, it has to be moving in perpendicular direction. And in this picture, I don't see it doing that. I mean, the surface is changing angle and all that stuff, but um, so as the block slides along the surface, the component of force perpendicular to the surface won't be doing any work. So we can say, all right, work done by normal force is zero. And all of that giving us a net force will equal change of kinetic energy. So it, uh, uh, it says when released. So I'm going to read that to mean its initial speed must have been zero. It's being released from rest. I think that's what makes sense to me. So the change of kinetic energy, which you know is equal to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy, and the formula for kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So 
the final kinetic energy will be one half mass times free final squared and initial kinetic energy will just be zero so okay so we have this expression and i think it's good to plug in one final piece of information and this is where i looked up this formula from chapter seven we have an expression for work done by gravitational force um, in chapter eight we are going to uh, really make more use of this in terms of what we are going to call potential energy um, but let me defer that discussion until we have chapter eight stuff um, for chapter seven really uh, what we are sufficient to have is an expression for gravitational work done by gravitational force, which apparently only depends on the displacement in the y vertical direction, because that's all we have. We are not given the horizontal displacement. So I think we are all good. So let me plug in. So work done by gravitational force is minus mg times my final y height, which is zero minus the, let me just give this a label of h, uh, the initial height h. So really these two minus signs will cancel out and we get a positive quantity. Gravity does positive work as this slides down, plus work done by friction. And we'll let whatever sign of quant sign this quantity gets, we'll put it as part of the answer. It'll tell us, is a friction doing negative work, a positive work, what? So all of that is equal to one half and we find all squared and uh yeah let me not be too lazy and do this algebra by hand because i'm solving for this all i have to do is move this over i think i can do that fairly easily uh, let me write it over here so work done by friction is equal to that one half m3 final squared minus this mgh and uh, let me do the rest uh, in a calculator. So I have um, one half times, uh, wait, do I have all the symbols? I might not have, I have M, I have V final. Don't think I have G or H. So let me declare those as variables. So the expression I have that I'm plugging in numbers to into is one half times mass times V final squared minus mass times G times H. That's the expression. And I'm going to plug in numbers this way. Um, substitute in um, mass of uh, 112 grams. So it's a 0 0.112 kilogram. Uh, v final of uh, 4 meter per second. Um, G of 9.8 meter per second squared. I'm trying to plug in everything in basic SI unit and I have h of two meters. Look at all the numbers. Yeah, so okay, I get a negative quantity, 1.30. Uh, let's see that's if that's right, uh, minus 1.30. Ah. I'm confused. Does it one plus? You could uh, make an argument that it says how much, therefore, um, it should be positive. But I don't like that interpretation. Let me do it this way. I have added access to these questions now. Let me edit it so that it accepts both. Uh, All right, new version. Okay, uh, let me just uh, retest 116. I have minus 1.346. And I, I do believe really negative answer should also be accepted as being correct because um, the the friction, force of friction does do negative work. And, um, and you know, if someone's plugging in positive answer here and I don't mind them getting that as correct as well, because the sign here is, uh, I think once you are asked, you know, does the friction do positive or negative work? Most people will get it right. It's really the quantity that's important.